All right, people, recognize the six-pack Caddy Smack. What's that all about? In the back, I've been talking to you guys about EV assisting your car using Smacks boosters. A lot of you guys have been asking, can I wire the several units in parallel or in series and run them in conjunction with each other? <clears throat> well, here's your answer. You've got two banks, one bank of three on each side, okay, wired up in parallel, 12 volts each, 20 amps, okay, two of them connected, all the hoses routed into one single hose, okay. Right now we've got these uh, unit set so they're producing about one liter a minute. It's a we got, we got them set at like 15 amps. Okay, so we're getting one liter a minute per unit, so approximately six meter, liters per minute total. Okay, um, and this is basically these batteries are charged off the grid. They're good for two hour runtime. So fully charged, we can run all six units off these two batteries um, for about two hours. Okay, total current draw. You know we're talking. In the range of 40 amps per side, about 80 amps, 80, 90 amps. Okay, so what we have basically here, I've created some bus bars out of uh, a thick gauge wire that's able to take the current. Okay, I forget what gauge it is, but it's it's big stuff. Okay, um, each unit is tapped off of the bus bar. I got a negative bus bar and a positive bus bar. Okay, and each unit is wired hooked up in parallel. Okay, each making one one liter per minute. Okay. So these boxes, they can be picked up and removed and put into a different vehicle. All you got to do is disconnect the hose, okay? It's a completely self-contained unit. Um, these batteries, there are the, the power draw from this system is completely independent of the Cadillac's um, electrical system, which is the advantage on these old cars so you're not taxing the alternator and battery on the, on the original system. So, I mean, yo, recognize, H2O Assist. Smack boosters, alright? So check out what's going on up front. I installed the bubbler in the front. It's a four inch unit filled with tap water. Okay, there it is bubbling away. Approximately six, six liters per minute. And we've just got the output feeding right into the air cleaner of the Cadillac. Okay, now when the Cadillac's running and I take the hose out, the RPM actually drops by say 50 to 100. It's, you can, perceptibly, you can hear it. You put the hose back in, the RPM goes back up, okay? So there is a, a, an immediate effect on the combustion quality uh, inside the cylinders of the engine just by the introdu in introduction of this amount of gas into the engine. So it's making a difference. No mileage results to post yet because I just barely got this up and running about an hour ago. So we haven't driven it. We haven't taken any official results, you know, smack style like I usually do. But that's up and coming. For right now, we're just verifying that the system works, okay? And I'll show you how we control it from inside the dash. What I did was I fabricated and mounted some switches in the ashtray, okay? We've got a set of three switches. Here's bank one, bank two, and in the future, a bank three. But for right now, we're not running three banks, okay? And that's all there is to it. It's completely independent of the Cadillac's um, electrical system. So we're not taxing the alternator. We're not taxing the battery. Okay. Systems are completely independent, have nothing to do with um, the hydrogen power production. Okay. So that's the advantage of the EV assist system. Okay. So you guys probably want to hear it run. I don't know if you can hear it in the video camera, but I'm going to take the hose out and try to listen for the RPM drop. Did you hear that? I'll put the hose back in and listen to it rise. Hopefully you guys are hearing that, but there's about a 50 to 100 uh, RPM delta when performing that, uh, that iteration. Air drop just then, and there it rises. So it's definitely having an effect on the combustion quality, and soon we'll be posting results. We're shooting for, uh, right now it's currently getting 11.3 miles per gallon. We want to see 15 miles per gallon out of this engine, and hopefully in the future we'll be able to ins install a North Star V8 
and we'd like to see 25, 20 to 25 miles per gallon out of this giganium, massive, gorgeous 1959 Cadillac. Look at this thing, man. I mean, what, what, what? Look at that. Smacks boosters. Recognize. I'm the Smack, and I'm out of here.